So do you ever catch yourself finger detangling? And you're like, why do my ends get stuck? And why do they feel so freaking dry and crispy? And you know sometimes how it's really easy to get these little tangles out. And then you know sometimes when they're kind of in there good. And if you tug at it, you're going to break off all your freaking hair. You ever get any of those nasty little single strand knots and it's like how the hell did this get there and why is it doing this to me? You ever come to the hairs at the nape of your neck and not only do they feel dry, but they are matted in like a nightmare to detangle and covered in split ends? Yeah. Same. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I do at night to protect my hair, lock in moisture so that it's hopefully less tangled, less dry, and doesn't continue to get damaged at night while I sleep. So before we jump right in to this easy, ugh, nighttime routine, I want to know, what's it going to take for you to commit? Ready to commit to you? Are you ready to commit to me? Slam that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss uploads. And even if you're not, I'll be here when you are. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being a douche. Let's do this. This is day three hair. In general, the overall look, this is like my ideal hair. It's a little bit fluffy, it's got definition towards the ends, but like it looks like I have more hair than I do. It's voluminous, all that, right? The problem is I have a ton of knots, I have a ton of tangles. My ends in general kind of feel dry. It's definitely not because of hard water. I just recently did a hard water treatment. Um, I definitely think it's a mix of needing a trim, a really good like thorough trim. Um, and then also little lack of moisture. So for the most part, my hair feels really moisturized. It's literally just down um, towards the end. But that is also where I use the most styling products. And two of the styling products I used on this wash day had a little bit of protein. So it really could just be that. First thing we're going to do is a little bit of water. I am literally just going to mist my ends, we do not want to soak these hairs, we just want to barely get them damp. You can also potentially skip this step and go straight to the next step, it's up to you. Next, we're gonna smooth over a leave-in conditioner, leave-in. We do want this to be somewhat lightweight, we don't want it to like completely wear our hair down, right? I wanna get a couple more days of wear, but I do wanna make sure that my ends are protected. Any leave-in that you have is wonderful, don't need a specific leave-in. I'm gonna use the Cachos Brazil Rio Mist, it's one of my favorites, super hydrating. I'm just gonna do one, two, three sprays. So we're going to rub together, and we are going to coat our ends, literally grabbing like a ponytail, and smoothing over. And then want to make sure and get these shorter ends. <laughs> you hear my little piggy bulldog snorting at the door. <laughs> Just did another spray. Really want to make sure and get these areas that are particularly fine and prone to breakage and damage anyways. And don't be afraid to detangle a little bit while you're here. This will help you pinpoint the areas that need some moisture. And then also make sure that you're really getting it in there. The next thing that we're going to do is seal it all in. You can use whatever hair oil you love. This one's my favorite, Righteous Roots RX. It's been my go-to for years. So and it's linked to my Amazon store, that's exciting. <laughs> if you don't regularly use oil, it's always better to remember less is more. Um, it's easier to add more oil if you didn't get enough than it is to take some off if you added too much without cleansing at least. I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six drops. I'm going to rub it into my fingertips and my hands. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the leave-in and smooth over the ends and focus on these really fine areas smooth smooth so now you just want to follow whatever nighttime routine that you have for protecting your hair what i'm gonna do is pineapple to bring it as far forward as i can two loops 
Then I take a small clip, got it from the dollar store, and I like to loop this around and then just kind of clip it back here. Sometimes I have a teeny bit of a crease, but most of the time after letting my hair settle for a few minutes, it goes away. And it's also good to take a little oil and swipe up just in case you missed any of those ends. So there's one more step in this whole thing. Ignore my messy bathroom. Can you guess what it is? Go to sleep. Stick around if you want to see what it looks like in the morning. Good morning. Let's go take our hair out. Well, first. <laughs> I'm ready. We didn't rehearse that at all. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Coffee's gone. Let's do this. Oh, sciatica's almost gone. Almost. And we meet again. So we're just gonna jump right into pulling this out. Clip, gone. Scrunchy out. My hair definitely feels moisturized, but now here's where the real test is, is obviously you saw that I kind of finger detangled my hair last night. Realistically, the measures of protection that I took should leave me with pretty tangle-free hair. So let's do it. Couple tangles still in there. But for the most part, my hands are just like gliding through like butter. Definitely, like, there's no question that this area, like, I need a trim, but I slept on that all night, and I feel like it looks even better this morning than it did last night. I woke up with moisturized hair that is ready to go a couple more days, so yay! There you have it. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go slam it. And if we're not friends on Instagram, that link is down in the description. I also have a TikTok too, so you want to be TikTok friends? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> My name is Chanel. We do all things curly and then some. Now I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.